<laughs> hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to show you guys how to reverse contour. As you guys can hear in my voice already, I am still really congested, really stuffy. Hopefully this is the end of my sickness journey. I swear I've been sick for like the entire month of December. But anyway, so today I'm gonna to show you guys how to reverse contour. I actually love to contour a lot, as you guys can see on my channel. If you're new to my channel, hello guys. I'm gonna be using my Eve Pearl High Definition Jewel Foundation, which looks like this. As you guys can see, I have already used it. So I figured that this would be a great time to film this video because I've been blowing my nose and all this sickness has been causing me to have like a whole bunch of redness around my face and it's really annoying. As you guys can see, I already have my brows and my eye makeup on. I have nothing else on my face but moisturizer and my um, Cover FX primer that I applied all over my face. So if you guys want to know how to reverse contour or just a quick easy way to contour and get out of the house, then please keep on watching. So you guys are obviously right here, but I'm going to be looking in my mirror on the side right here, but I'll slowly, you know, turn and show you guys what to do. So first, you guys can take any kind of flat foundation brush, and this one is by Sigma. It is the F60 brush, and you're just going to take one side, either side, doesn't matter. And I'm gonna go ahead and take the lightest color and I'm going to place this where I would normally contour at. And then same thing on the other side. And I didn't put any foundation or anything like that on there just because whenever I reverse contour, I'm already applying so much product. On my forehead right here, like a little flower. <laughs> and then I'm gonna get a smaller brush, and this is from Crown Brush. It is just the brush ACO11 Double Sided Blender. I'm gonna take the smaller side, and I'm just gonna take it down the bridge of my nose, like so. I'm gonna take a little bit right here, a little bit on my chin here, on the side of my mouth, and just slightly a few dots on the side here. Next, I'm going to take the darker side and I'm going to go in with the same crown brush and I'm actually going to lay this on top right here. As you guys can see, it definitely is a lot darker. You want to lay it like where you put your blush at pretty much. And once you blend all this out, it's just definitely just going to cover up any kind of discoloration. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to take a little bit on the sides right here and I don't like to really swipe just because I feel like it's bl easier to blend and I don't think I have that much of a big forehead so it should be good and I'm just going to take a little bit just slightly on the side like so and the sides of your nose can be a little tricky I don't know I'm starting to contour a lot around my nose but sometimes it can look not that natural so you want to just slightly take it like so. And as you guys can see, I have a little bit of redness around my nose. So I'm going to go ahead and go back in with that foundation brush and just grab the sides of my nose. And this is really quick. Pretty much you're foundationing, foundationing, pretty much you're just applying your face, but just skipping a few steps. And of course, I almost forgot, how can I forget? You want to just highlight underneath your eyes like so. Usually under my eyes, I do go a little lighter, but for this tutorial, I'm just going to go with what I got. So what we're going to do now is we're just going to go ahead and blend everything out. I'm going to go ahead and blend all the light stuff, and then we're going to blend the contour out. So first, I like to start off with my forehead and I'm just using bouncing motions and just going down the bridge of my nose we can go. and you just want to pounce you don't want to move the product so you just want to blend out all the highlighted stuff first and then go back in and blend out the rest. Alright, so once that 
is done, you just wanna let it dry for a little bit. And then I'm gonna go in with my Laura Mercier translucent powder and I have to set my under eyes or else it will crease. And I'm gonna cook it just for a little bit or bake or however you guys wanna call it. So next I'm gonna take my Makeup Forever Pro Finish powder in the number 120 and I'm taking my e.l.f. Um, powder brush and I'm taking a little bit of that and I'm just going to pat this into my skin. I don't wanna move any kind of product so I'm just tapping everything in. And I like to do this only around my T-zone and underneath my jawline just to like blend everything out. First of all, isn't this cute? I got this from Sephora and it was $10. And it was sold out in stores, but they ordered it for me online. Isn't this the most cutest Z palette ever? And I just think it's perfect for like traveling. It holds, I wanna say about 12 MAC eyeshadows, I believe, but as you guys can see, I don't have all that. But I have a few of my favorite go-to everyday shadows a favorite blush and a favorite contour. So first we're gonna dust all this off. It doesn't take long at all. You could bake it for like, I don't know, 15 seconds to however long you want to. And then I'm gonna go in with my Anastasia contour powder in the shade Havana. And taking this softly, I'm just applying it on top of where I had contoured at. Just because I want more of a definition, you always wanna brush upwards, not down. Defeats the purpose, it defeats the purpose. Don't do it. Then I'm going with my Coastal Sense 109 brush. I love this brush. I don't know if they still have it or not. And I'm gonna slightly brush this on like my hairlines pretty much and my temples. And of course, taking a little bit on the sides of your jawline. And I like to go like way underneath. I don't really like to slap it on right there. Then I'm gonna go in with blush. I'm taking my MAC 159 brush. I love this brush. And I'm also gonna use uh, Makeup Geek's Infatuation blush. Such a beautiful everyday, any kind of face makeup you got going on is gonna be perfect. And I'm applying this just to the apple of my cheeks. And I'm also gonna bring it back towards my hairline, going the same way as my contour. And just blending my contour and blush together so that there's not just a flat out line. And if all this looks extremely harsh, you can always take your powder brush at the end and just blend everything together. Now I'm going in with my Real Techniques contour brush and I'm just gonna use that and just blend everything together again so that the contour line isn't as harsh. And now we're going to highlight. I'm gonna take one of my favorites and this is by Becca Cosmetics and it is in the shade Opal. Such a beautiful color, especially for all of tone girls like me. So I'm gonna be using my Real Techniques setting brush. I'm just gonna dab a little bit at first and then I'm gonna blend it out. One, two, three, few dabs, and then blend it out. Then I'm gonna go in with my Sedona Lace FB01 brush, and I'm just gonna dip it in one more time, and I love this brush. I feel like it just blends everything out so beautifully. contour i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you guys have any requests on anything else leave a comment down below and i will see you guys in my next video bye